So yeah, um, you can see now, um, during our previous uh, video, I explained the business example uh, using, uh, uh, using Excel here, the spreadsheet, uh, to make it simple to understand to you guys. So what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to add two more items uh, uh, to make it clear for uh, this 1.1 is a business example. And then 1.2 here is a system dive. This system demo is actually to the business example uh, system demo for business, business example. So here. Um, so now I'm going to show you how we did this scenario here, what we explained um, here on the introduction. Um, so when you go to the system, so asset accounting, you can go asset explorer by accounting, financial accounting, and fixed assets, asset, asset explorer, or you can type directly aw01 on the command bar here so when you double click so you can see here so the asset what i created here is you can see this is a 8000 so when i go into my um, excel here where i show the example yeah so this is the cost of the asset so you can see the cost of the asset so other parameters you can see here, life of the asset is uh, five years. So you can see here. So now if you see the posted depreciation, 2020, so you can see here. So since uh, I already executed depreciation until uh, um, May, so you will only see the depreciation here. So you can see here. This is the monthly depreciation where exactly you can see. So when you add up all these six periods together until here, because you, you're, you're doing this in the middle of the month, so you can see here. So 80,000 it's showing because I already run the depreciation until May when I'm doing my entire beginner's videos. So now you can see here. So, yeah, so this is how the system is going to do the depreciation. So I'm going to deep dive. And what is the depreciation key we are using? This is the one example. Units of production, STCK. So this is my depreciation for each month. You can see until December here. So this is the total depreciation. So when you go to the comparisons, you can see because I only maintain the production units till the 2020 only. So I didn't maintain for other periods. So you won't see any depreciation. Okay. So now um, in this uh, video, I am going to show you how we did this and how you can achieve this business requirement using SAP. So um, hope if you like my videos i would recommend to share with your friends or you can also subscribe to my channels uh, which i am putting some videos for free so you can always uh, subscribe those uh, to get the latest updates thank you guys so this is how a uh, system demo i am uh, configured here so exactly it fit uh, my requirement here so you can see this is per year depreciation and then the system how it is calculate thank you guys